Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Aquarius. This is going to be from now until the end of April. We're going to go ahead and check in on the energies, see what's come through for you. I have several decks to use. So let's see what's going on Aquarius. Aquarius from now until the end of April. Both. Okay. Very nice. We have the Sun energy. That's card number one. This is a new beginning and uh, happiness there. The chakra, Archangel Chamel. And all tied up. Interesting. This card actually came up for several signs in this readings for the end of April, for the second half of April. You might want to watch your sun, moon and rising signs just to see if you have the messages from there as well. But let's go ahead and start clarifying. I'm getting a very strong energy of a new beginning here for you. A happy new beginning, definitely. I'm getting powerful new beginning. Wow, look at this. Aces. Ace is a new beginning. That's exactly what it is. It's a interesting page of inspiration, six of emotions. Five of materials. Wow. And the tower. Interesting. What I'm getting here is that um, there is new communication. There is new communication that is coming through for you from somebody that you know from the past. Somebody who left you in a call. Somebody who broke up with you. Uh, could have been uh, somebody who's very... Um, spontaneous but also like rushed with their decisions somebody who's uh, um, quite fiery somebody who makes decisions um, really fast not necessarily thinking them through very well now it could have been a scorpio it doesn't have to be it could have been also a fire sign very strong energy of a fire sign i feel like this person regrets the decisions that they made i feel like this person regrets the decision that they uh, made as far as the, uh, leaving you as far as uh, breaking up a relationship here um, um could be a leo strong energy of a Leo there but what I'm seeing is that uh, there is a new beginning as far as a new communication coming through now that doesn't mean that you will um, uh, accept this person back but they that's what they want that's what they want here I feel like you are very much standing in your power I feel like for you this new beginning means new power new found power in yourself to say is what you want in this relationship to say yes or no whatever is that uh, whatever it is for you um, I'm getting that uh, you're very attractive in their eyes as well and they see you a little different they see you powerful they see you strong and um, I do feel that they're coming with uh, an apology there and uh, there is a, a new communication that is arising among you too for those of you who you haven't spoken in a while like I said they could have left they could have left unexpectedly they could have just uh, even ghosted you here I'm getting that energy but I do see a spark of new communication and decision will be yours. You're standing very strong in your power. You're the one who's going to decide if you're going to give him a second chance or not. The Chakra, Archangel Channel. Okay. It's almost like you're giving a birth to something, an idea, not necessarily, you know, literally giving birth i'm getting a um a birth of a um idea here birth of um, some sort of um, plan some sort of project here and i'm also getting this um a lot of energy of just having a gut feeling about which way to go just being guided in some way you're trusting your intuition a little bit more here and that's what you should be doing um if you are doing some sort of meditations if you are um, you know, um, practicing meditation, calling upon Archangel Chamo is going to be very beneficial for you. And I feel like it's going to almost kind of increase your intuition there or your connection to your um, spirit guides. <laughs> Hang me. That's that energy. That's that energy of a spiritual connection. That's that energy of third eye opening. That's that energy of getting some sort of downloads. Um, and, and I feel like... Um, it has a lot to do with some sort of emotional connection, some sort of um, 
love connection here. And this could be regarding the person that is um, uh, away. Uh, they could be physically away from you. They could, uh, this could be a distance relationship here. Could be with the Pisces, doesn't have to be. I feel like you are choosing the path. Do you want to be with this person? Do you not? I do see that there is feelings between you two, but there's also some sort of um, argument that happened here, or there could have been just um, a situations that you are um, unsure if you, um, if you want to continue the long distance relationship, you and them. You both are kind of like, mm, should we do this, should we not? And I feel like there could be a lot of arguments that has and um, um, that were brought up by the long distance here. I do feel that uh, uh, there will be peace here. You will definitely um, um, resolve these conflicts. I see you resolving the arguments. I see you resolving the conflict here. But then you will still be deciding: uh, Do you want to go through with this relationship or do you not? I do feel that you're in between. There is two paths that you can choose here. And uh, I feel like, um, like I said, there is feelings in here. There's definitely feelings. And listen to intuition. Listen to your gut feeling. Listen to your gut feeling and see what it tells you. 37 could be a very significant number for you. I don't always pay attention to the numbers on these cards, but some of you could be 37 or your partner could be 37 here. Let's go ahead and clarify this all tied up. What is that all about for my Aquarius? <laughs> all tied up in some sort of choice you need to make. Mm -hmm. Choice in a relationship. Okay, look at this. Again, that, wow. Interesting. Very interesting. I feel like you're all tied up in your feelings. You're all tied up in the, this um, situation of being... Um, not indecisive, but being in between two and needing to make a decision here. And I do see that this has something to do with love here. I do feel that there is a possibility here of, uh, again, that Scorpio coming through. I feel like these messages are quite connecting for your Aquarius. Could be talking to the same group of Aquarius here. Um, the person that you haven't spoken to in a while, the person that um, you are... Uh, I don't want to say on a break with. I feel like you actually broke up with this person. They broke up with you. And you haven't talked uh, uh, haven't talked to each other for a while. It's like the relationship was over now. But they are coming back. They are coming back here for the second chance. And the choice is yours. You definitely need to make a choice in love. This is a time for you to make a choice in love here. And I feel like you already have other options. So you kind of like you are tied up in a way that, uh, not because you don't have options, but because you're not sure what decision to make here. That's what's keeping you a little bit like constrained. You're in between, you're indecisive, you're, you're a little worried that you might make the wrong decision here. Gemini could be very significant here. You have very strong energy, two cards of a Gemini here. And also Aries is coming through very strongly. I feel like there is a, a fire sign around you that is uh, very much paying attention to you. But I feel like there is more than just one person. There is definitely this person from the past. There is somebody new and there is a couple of other options that are just around there that might not be as um, pushy, as proactive, as uh, you know, forthcoming as this fire sign and the person from the past, but they are around you, and you you are you feel a little bit kind of like oh indecisive, you you feel a bit confused, you're like oh you're a little. You're a little cautious to make the wrong choice. That's what I'm getting here. You're a little cautious because you want to make the right choice. But that's the energy you're in right now. You have to make a choice in love. Very strong energy of that. All right. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. And let's pull some uh, messenger delivery, plant and animal oracle cards for you and see what else comes through. What else do you need to know for this? end of April. What else do we need to know for Aquarius? What else is happening? Oh, okay, those two. We have a cat. We have a swan. Wow. And a butterfly. All right. Okay, well, let's see. Let's clarify this cat energy there. I feel like you come across as somebody who's quite independent and somebody who knows really well their value. But deep inside, you're kind of like, oh, you know, you don't feel as confident about yourself as people see you. That's an interesting message there. Could be in your um, work environment there. Just 
that, that's you Aquarius, Knight of Wands, and Ace of Wands, yeah. Um, you're coming through very strongly in this message here with that star energy, that's your representation in Major Arcana, this is you shining bright in your network, in your work network, among your colleagues here, in your workspace. Um, Nine of Wands, the career is coming to the forefront for you and with the Ace of Wands, there is like a new beginning there, there is a, a chance for a new beginning, there is an opportunity there, but like I said, I feel like um, um, people see you <laughs> almost i don't want to say better than what you see yourself but they they see you as somebody who's very much capable and you're a little bit kind of like oh can i really do it or not people in your network see you as somebody who's very powerful somebody who's very decisive somebody who's um, very much um, goal oriented and you are all those things but you're doubting yourself here in some way i see you doubting yourself in some way and um, i feel like um you have to be a little careful here with who you trust. People who are maybe, you know, sweet talking you a little bit too much. They might not be very uh, genuine. So be um, be careful of that. But also know that um, you have a value. You have a very uh, strong value, very big value here to deliver into this company, to bring to this job here. And people see it. People definitely see it. Um, because uh, I feel that you are a little bit less confident in yourself, um, be careful that people don't offer you a position that is a little bit um, underpaid just because they see that you might be a little bit hesitant in some way regarding your value, regarding your um, skills here. They see that you're a perfect choice for the job or perfect choice for that promotion, whatever that is here, but make sure that they don't lowball you. That's what I'm trying to get here. And be confident in yourself. You need a little bit to increase your confidence because people see you as somebody who's, like I said, perfect for the role. All right, swan energy. What is that here? What is that here for? Wow, look at that. Five of cups. Knight of cups. Six of cups. Wow, I just I was about to say, and I didn't. Wow, well, look at this. We're getting such a similar energy this is such a confirmation from what we've discussed before regarding this person from your past coming back with an apology five of cups they have regrets and yes we are talking about your union we're talking about your romantic love life this person is coming for forgiveness they're coming with an apology they're coming with forgiveness yes they're coming with a genuine um uh, apology they're coming uh, with honesty they this time around they're not, they're not joking around. They know, they're going to tell you exactly uh, the truth. And they're going to tell you that uh, they regret what happened here. Five of Cups, they have a lot of regrets. Could be that water sign. Again, I'm getting that energy of a Scorpio here. Pisces is coming through strongly here as well. But what's important is, is that this person considers you as their, their divine counterpart. They consider you as their the person that they can spend the life with they really wish to be together with you but the choice is going to be yours and um, five of cups like i said they regret they regret whatever they did here in this union they're coming for forgiveness the coming was an honest apology could be a water sign like i said they do have feelings for you six of cups they want to reconcile they want to reconcile i feel like they've changed um the their attitude they've changed their attitude they've changed the view of what they want from a romantic love life they could have been you know a little bit fearful of commitment in the past they now know they want a commitment and they want the commitment with you and they are coming with an apology they're definitely coming with apologies. It's a very strong message. It's, uh, it just keeps coming back. Very strong message. The person from your past is coming with an apology. And the choice for you, to, I feel like you will forgive them, but will you accept them back in your life? That's something that you'll have to decide. Butterfly. What is this butterfly here? Hierophant. Queen of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> two of Pentacles. Wow, two of Wands. 
and the full wow oh this one right here too okay so interesting you are i feel like whatever changes you're making now which you are making changes you're making some transformations you're making some decisions here i feel it's going to take a lot of bravery i feel like it's going to feel like it will um need you to be brave i feel like the uh, time of struggle is over for you and you are transforming to a much easier life here and uh, i am getting a, an energy here of commitment there is very strong energy here of commitment higher of Hierophant here and um, Ten of Pentacles is talking about the commitment for you. Queen of Swords, this is you. This is your energy. This is um, an air sign. This is Aquarius here. And you are choosing the right commitment for you. And again, that energy of a choice is coming so strongly. Two of Pentacles, you're choosing between two. You're juggling all your options. You're trying to decide what to do. Two of Wands, another confirmation between two. You're between two here, between a new and between what you've been wanting for a long time here. Um, and I feel like that could be that person from the past. Again, Aries energy is coming through very strongly. We have a full now and a magician. Um, Gemini is present here. I feel like you're making choices in love. And it is a very important choice for you because you are choosing the person that you are deciding to commit to. You're choosing the person who you want to marry. You're choosing the person you want to build a family with. Have a completely new beginning. You're transforming your love life, Aquarius. That's what I see for you. And I do feel that it's going to be a much easier ride from here on. But first, you've got to make the decision. Who are you going to choose? That's what I see. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We had quite a few messages here. We had quite a few similar messages, definitely speaking to the same group of Aquarius. But let's see what else we haven't mentioned, what else is coming through here. We're going to use Coffee Cup Oracle cards by Amira Salon. Beautiful deck. What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Aquarius? Wow. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. This is not. There's more. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here we go. All right. Let's see. You have a lot of cards there coming through. Wow. Look at this. The first card they open up here. Choices. Choices. You have to make a choice. You're indecisive here. There is three people, three corners here. It's you, and there is two more people here you're choosing from. Definitely choices that needs to be made here. Uh, nice, we have that line energy. I feel like you, um, again, uh, this is, reminds me of that energy we saw in the very beginning of your reading, that strength energy of the sun. And now it comes back here with the line. You're standing strong in your power and you're choosing your, uh, your journey. You're choosing the direction you're gonna go into here. Um, challenges and achievements. You, you overcame quite a few challenges. And I do feel that uh, for a lot of you here, it is has something to do with your personal life. It does have something to do with um, achievements you made in your personal life when it comes to your um, family life, but also when it comes to your achievements in your career here. I feel like you've achieved quite, um, quite a few things there as well. I do see this energy here of you possibly having to um, detach a little bit to make the right choice. I almost feel like you can go on a soul trip here. I'm getting that energy here. I feel like you could definitely take a journey here, definitely take a distant journey on your own just to be in peace to make sure that you make the right decision. I'm getting that energy for you. Some of you will definitely take a few days just to go on a trip. Some of you could be longer, but journey is coming up for you here. I feel like in the end of uh, April, this is something that's going to be important. You might definitely take on uh, some sort of trip here. Um, uh, I like this abundance and luck card. The fish card is coming through for you. This is money. This is more money coming your way. I feel like the money is there for you. The money is there for you to tap into. That's what I see. I feel like it's um, you have achieved so much. You overcame the, the struggles. You've already in this energy of comfort when it comes to money. And money is there. So you don't have to worry about it. I feel like it's just there for you, for you to tap into. But now the important part for you is to make some choices here, to make some choices of um, what direction do you want to go in. I feel for some of you is also there is this energy here of do you want to pursue your career and keep going there, which I feel like your career is doing really great. 
Or for some of you, you want to take maybe a step back and focus on that love life that, you know, now needs a little bit more attention. This is what I see for you. These are the energies that came through. I truly hope this reading was helpful. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. And I hope to talk to you soon. Bye for now.